can I help you? Yes, you can help me. Is this Philip Odeke's place? Yes, who is asking? Um, actually, um, called Grace. Yes. Oh, you don't know me. No. Oh, I've remembered, you're Anna. Can't see me, right? Yeah. Oh, the maid. <laughs> yes, yes. So what can wait, I... Wait, so wait. I am um, can't... Wait, wait, wait. I'm can't see me the who? Yes, the maid. And you are looking for who? I'm looking for Phil. <laughs> You have, you have really dishonored me to the brimo now. So now your side dish has called you Philip. So he's now Philip. He's no longer Philip. He's not a Philip. I know he's a Philip. My young girl, what is your name again? You said you are called who? Called what? Grace. Has anyone ever told you that you are very ugly? Huh? Don't tell me I'm surprising you. You don't have a mirror at home or what? Has anyone ever told you that you look bad? You are ugly. And you've been walking around in public like that, exposing this. You are very ugly, my dear. You're very... And I don't think this is this is how you were born. I think you tried the plastic surgeon and it went wrong. And you ended up looking like this. Why are you very selfish? Do you know that children are in holidays? But my you know, You know that children are in holidays. That if you walk around like that, someone might look at you and get hypertension. A, ch a young child can get a heart attack thinking they are seeing something like a ghost walking around. Look, ah, don't try those facial expressions. Those are very expensive facial expressions for beautiful people. Someone who looks the way you look, you cannot manage to look. You don't make those expressions. They are expensive, my dear. Make sure you smile. Agree people smile. So that the best rubs off on all others. You must be feeling pain. You can't look like that and not feel pain. Madam, you were ugly. What was Philip looking for when he was looking at you? What is it exactly? Exactly what is it? I cannot believe you walked in the public. Are you sure there's no stampede outside? People waiting to kill a ghost that they've just seen. And you look like that, and you come here asking for fuel. fuel. There's no fuel here. My husband is called Philip Odeke, not fuel. Not fuel, and he's my husband. Please, go find your own husband. Do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. Go find your own husband. But man, I didn't know that he was your husband. You told Next me time, do a backup. Backup check. Check on everyone. Ask them. Can you just look at a married man? Philip is miserable. Married men are miserable. Can you just look at someone and just to know that they are, they are married? So you wanted what? I work with a poster, eh? Why don't you look for... So you... <laughs> someone tell me that there was a man who has his own big house in a gate, seeing or waiting for you. Because you are special. I want you to take your ugly face out of here. You're very ugly. That thing should be the number one thing you know in your ah, head. Ah, but madam, my beauty is in the inside. What you? Then cut your head off, expose your heart so that we look at it. This one is hurting our eyes, this one. It keeps hurting our eyes. Or oh, put a poster, put a, a banner here. Say, excuse my looks, my beauty is inside the heart. Do, do not traumatize us at the expense of having a beautiful heart, my dear. I want you to leave my husband alone because I don't want this to rub off on him. He might wake up in the morning looking exactly. Get actually first way. Piece of advice. Never go to the zoo. Why? If you go to the zoo, animals will strike. They will wonder why a feral animal is meandering freely in the park. That animal being you. Meandering freely in the park when for them they are being caged up. Actually, in the case you don't have pocket money, cage yourself, put yourself on the streets, people will pay to come and look at you. You look bad. Actually, if ugliness was contagious, do you know what I would do? This would be a phone call. Just cage yourself and people will look at you and pay money. It will be as if they have gone to the zoo. Someone who looks at you and you, you are evidence that evolution happened. We come from chimpanzees because I'm seeing a chimpanzee ape moving around. Run away! Never come back! Leave my man alone! I don't want him to wake up looking like you. She's actually beautiful. Philip has destiny. Can't see me! Can't see me! What is it? Hey, please, 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 get down, no, get down my veranda. You don't just come and begin screaming. Nya, 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 nya. And you're putting your feet you on can't my see me. How what? could you? How could I what? How the question right now should be, how couldn't I? Because I could do very many things. Right now you should be asking me, how couldn't you? How could you betray me for only 100,000 shillings? How could you? I have betrayed people for much, much less. <laughs> much less. And people was very close to, how about you? You're just, 100, when was the last time you saw 100,000 in one place? You. 100,000, all of it, in one place. So if I put 100,000 here, and they put our friendship, and they said, choose, which one would you choose? Before you begin mm -hmm. saying, well, I've got, me, I have gossiped and betrayed about family members, I've betrayed family members, close friends, close, not just friends, close, ah, about this lousy relationship here. So before lousy. you begin, yes, very lousy relationship. <laughs> and I've done very many things to you, by the way. I've betrayed you, I, I was backbiting you, so let's be particular. What is it that you're talking about that they paid me a hundred thousand? And how could they tell you the amount? Pahavur gambo. 
But can't say be realistic, okay? How could you give the police directions to my house and yet you know they were looking for me? How could you do that to me? Eh, yeah, that one, eh? Yeah. Really? Oh goodness, also you, that's be, you're talking about being realistic, but you're the one who's not being realistic. If it was you, and they put a hundred thousand there, and they're saying, tell us where I can see me is. <laughs> be sensitive. For the first time, do not think about yourself. Don't be self, don't be self centered. For the first time, tell me what would you choose? Now they've given you a hundred thousand and they just want my directions. What would you do? But tell me. me. Oh my god, what has happened to you? What? Have you forgotten I'm your friend? Yes. I'm your friend. Friend, not close friends. I have close friends, I have family. Those eh? are people I can probably care about. But you're just a friend. And we're talking about money here. You're mixing money and friendship. Those two. They don't mix. This is business I'm talking about right now. Bus Same business. You've reminded me I'm supposed to go to police and claim my award, my, 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 my reward. Do you have any money there? You give me transport, I go to police, pick my, my reward, <laughs> then I pay you when I come back. Don't put in feelings. This is business. But you can't say, how could you? And yet you know that I'm very innocent. Of course I knew you were very innocent. Then? Wait, but I said to them yesterday. So they didn't catch you. How come you were here? How did you make it here? This corruption, police and corruption. Philip, why do I call you for a very long time and you do not answer? You're going to give me a heart attack. I was looking for you all over the house. You don't even know what I'm going to tell you, but you are just there. You continue. As like, when I'm speaking, don't don't, don't brush. Don't brush if, if, when I'm talking to you. Listen to me. Look at me. I am your wife. I am your wife. You one and only. You already made that mistake. You will never get out of it. Who is this? Philip, who is this? That's Claire, and then? C which Claire? My ex. <laughs> I think I have squints. This is Claire, your ex, the one you have been telling me how she has been stalking you. You don't want her to call you, but she keeps calling you. You, you. It's over. When you saw me, you saw the right. You saw me and you chucked her immediately and you love only me. From the moment you saw me, your life changed. This, this is the Claire you have been talking about. That's the one I What eyes were you using to look? How do you leave this and come to this? What exactly were you seeing? I swear, even if I was a man, ah, uh, ah. Uh, even if I was a man, there's no way in a million years I would leave this for this. So what exactly were you looking at? Exactly what, what were you looking at exactly? Philip, I'm talking to you. Don't disrespect me. Philip, do not disrespect me. You're turning me into a quarrelsome woman by brushing your shoes when I'm talking to you. Listen to me. But what you, were you seeing? But you know I'm going for work. Who said you are not going for work? What were you seeing? Leaving this girl for me. Look, look, is it the... Philip, you don't listen. You don't, that's the problem. You do not listen to me if you know when I'm trying to talk to you and speak sense. I wanted to justify this before I become very violent. But you have everything better than her. But you? So I have everything better than her. I am better at quarreling. I am shorter. I am blacker. I, those are the better things you are talking about. Eh? You think I'm stupid? I don't have a mirror. I've never seen in a mirror to see. I've never gone to a mirror to see. Look at this guy. Look at her hips. Look, look, look. Let's, 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 let's just compare just a little bit. Compare what you are seeing there with this. Compare them. So I am better. Hmm? I'm very, very better. I'm better off. That's what you are insinuating. But, honey, you know I love you so much. Exactly my point. What do you love? Please highlight just a few things, one or two. What do you love exactly? I need to know it. I need to know it. This girl looks extremely wonderful. No one can make that mistake. Actually, if this was migration, eh? this is urban Tururo. Because really, you are leaving urban uptown Tururo. This is, this, is not, this is a worst decision. It's like walking in reverse, backwards. Reverse. That is walking in reverse. You cannot leave this one to come and be with me. On what grounds? What grounds exactly? Anyway. If she's your ex, why is there no ex in the picture? Because me, all my exes have a cross in the face so that you know you will never go back. It is over. That's what the ex means. But yours is here, hmm? still enjoying every time you look at how you squirrel and live in regret for the rest of your day. When you, that's why you do not cover the face. So let us do this, my, my darling. Actually, let me come.
I know it is time for you to go to work, but you have homework henceforth. I know you have only one pair of shoes, so I'm going to confiscate them. I want you to get that paper and write a list of things that you love about me. A list of advantages of being with me better than you. So if you get 30 points, 30 points of how, how the good, good success by them, because even me, I don't see those things. You know, they usually say that when someone is not very beautiful on the face, their heart is beautiful. But both me and you know what is inside. Actually, my heart and my face are simultaneous. All of them, they are just there. What do you mean? Why are you stopping exactly there? This is my veranda, it stops there. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. So this is your veranda, it stops there, eh? It stops there, just there. It's okay, it's alright. So you've decided that henceforth, this is our demarcation. I, I want to be sure, sure what you are meaning. Mgea knew from the beginning, from now, it is the beginning of us separating ourselves from here. Eh? This rubbish is not a part of you. I left this rubbish there last week, intentionally waiting for you to mop. You mop your side and don't mop my side. So you've mopped up to here. You're not going to come this side, behind this side. Yes. At all. Yes. Fine. Fine. So now that is your business. Last night when things were attacking you and you called out for help, and I came out my, with my husband and we helped you. You, you felt like it's okay, we can pass the, the demarcation, we can walk into your compound. But now, when it is time to mop, you remind me that you have your own part, I have my own part. Mm, Grace, be careful. Be careful what you are talking about. What you are insinuating right now might come and bite you in your behind it. You be there insinuating whatever it is insinuating. Hiya, mm, it is your place. But you can't sing. Hey, you have my place, I have your place. In the last week, when your husband was beating you and you called out for help, you need Guys to say was, that. Mm, Guy, it was not your business. Guy, it was not just your business, it was our business. Yesterday when you came for sort for your katogo, the food you were cooking, it uh, was no. our business. Ah, ah, let me bring it in the light. You, why can't you, why, 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 why can't you mop here? Actually, why am I quarreling? Because I already have like 30 solutions in my head, bombarding my head. Where? <laughs> hey! I've laughed at you. Oh, oh. Let me laugh at you because I know you're going to pass this very same embargo. This one, where the demarcation is here. Here, the no yes. go zone where there are time bombs. Where do you you're want going to, to pass? You're going to pass going to the bathroom. Toilet. Just to know, effective now, your life has become hard. Your life has become hard and I have toughened up. You're going to have to be paying double rent. Double rent, yeah. yes. Every and time you pass, mm -mm, and you've decided that's your compound. Every time you pass and come and pass and go to the toilet. That you will be paying. Just to know, you're going to be paying it twice, rent. You're going to be paying for staying there and for passing and going to the toilet. You then was started, it is as simple as mopping this place. Just two things should be involved. Either, oh, either you mop the, 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 the veranda, or you pay double rent. Because you're going to be passing this place, mm, just to know. Every time your sphincter muscle, muscles threaten and allow you to go to the bathroom to susu, just to know, you're going to be in paying more money. More money. Just to know, sit there and just think about it. Just to know. Every time you are around, you will be paying more money. And we are there saying, demarcation, demarcation. Guy did not think about the demarcation last week. It's okay. I don't want to force you into doing anything that you do not want to do. Just know that effective now, going to the toilet is going to be also now you with your diet. Sometimes go to the toilet three times. Ha! I'm going to make money from you enough to buy my own house. Mo my own house. Next day I'm going to be a landlord because you have failed to mop here. So decide. Either pay the money or mop the place. How long does it cost you? Just hurry up. You can just sweep, start by picking these things, remove even these ones, like the grasses. Don't break the grasses. Eh? It is a simple solution. Sometimes you need to know your place in society. You need to know that you live around sharp people who know things. Can I stay here and entertain you or by going inside? You clean. Let me stay. Clean. Clean properly. No. Some of, sometimes you need to know. You think I didn't want to stay there in the corner. You think I wanted to stay, but I knew that the time is going to come when this is going to become a source of power and authority. I told you about authority last week. I hope you got it. Clean me when you're done. You call me. I was still enjoying the fresh air.
Yes, honey. Yes, uh, how are you, darling? I'm fine. Mm. Please meet Grace. Yes, Grace, uh, madam, uh, how are you? I'm fine, madam, how are you? Uh -huh. uh, she's the one uh, my mom has given us as a maid. <laughs> no, say that again. What? No, I, I made to help your housework. Help me with housework? Exactly. Madam, turn around. Yeah, sorry? Turn around, please. <laughs> you see? She's can't good. See me, can't see she's good. Day. Of course she's good. Good compared to what? Compared to the saucepans she's going to be washing all the rugs she's going to be using to mop. Of course she's wonderful. Very wonderful for you. Those commander hips, madam, you're going to bend. With those commander hips and your So you're going to have to bend like this, eh? When you are mopping, eh? With those. And you are mopping. What is going to be... You must think I'm very stupid, you and your mother, eh? You must think I'm totally stupid and cruelest. So you brought the house. Did I tell you I needed a, a, a housemaid? Did I tell you I needed a, a, a help? Did I, tell, did I tell you a mother? Did she really send this girl to do housework? Ah, or there's some other work in the house that she wants her to... Madam, oh, did you go you to mean? school? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And? I have a degree in psychology. Oh, <laughs> see, see, So they told you I need a psychiatrist. I am a mad girl. So they brought someone to manage my head. A psychiatrist, psychology, ma way. <laughs> so that's why you are carrying a handbag that looks like a first aid box, girl. So you are ready to treat me anytime I run mad, you will treat me, psychiatrist. Say, well, you didn't go to school. How do you hope to pay this girl? You don't have money. How are you going to pay her? That one we shall discuss inside the yeah. The two of you. You must think I'm very, you must think I'm very stupid. Sometimes I don't know how you are thinking, real. Look at her. She's wearing high heels. I don't own shoes like this. You look like a kind of maid who will tell me you don't eat beans. You want chicken on Monday. You know you are allergic to greens, things like that. You want maybe some milk in the afternoon. I am going to become the slave now to look after you. That's how you decided. Eh? Have you ever been a maid ever? Anyway. No. So. But I have a degree. Hmm. Degree in managing what? Degree in psychology. You think suspense need psychology? You think my compound needs psychology for you to sweep it? So I need psychology. The two of you must think I'm totally stupid. Totally stupid and useless. Absolutely, by the way. But you know what, madam? Let us agree that since you have a degree in psychology, you should look at my face right now and see whether you have the job or not. So that you study me properly. And see. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't see if I'm still there. Sorry, why are you laughing? It is. Why am I Do I look like I'm laughing? You're done studying psychology. Do I look like I am laughing? Let me give you a job opportunity. I want you to go inside. Change. Change into something that does not show any curve on your body. I want you to enter that house. Clean it. I want you to clean that house so that no living, any other over insect or mosquito or flies, if you find a fly, remove it and carry it outside. I want you to clean that house and make it look extremely wonderful. You're going to clean the pigsty, first of all. Wash okay. all the mattresses. Our mattresses have never been washed. Wash them, hang out. That's the test for the first day. If you can handle those things, you are hired. Why don't you think important things? That maybe I want to go somewhere at the Bahamas and have a holiday and also chill like others. And you, Philip, I'm going to be monitoring your eyes. Wherever that you go, I will be there. And let me see you going into the southern zone of this girl, you shall see. Sherry, in peace, bring back my things you stole. Which things? Which things? Did I take anything of Sherry, yours? Be, let's be realistic. You know what you took. My hoofa, my Excuse DVD, Excuse me, hoofa, my, DVD, what? My flat screen. Have you ever owned anything like a flat hey, screen? Oh, it's me. That me and you, black and white. Sherry, me and you know that you took those things and you know that I have them. You better stop telling me that I stole from you, you guys. You who doesn't stop. even own a flat, a, a flat iron. And what things. makes you think I'm the one who took them? Why are you on uh, my, my case? I never saw you, Wait, currently our officers of the law, which means that I cannot have my uh, arrange I cannot even have a holiday in my own home. I can't Peter. rest in my own house because of you. What is the problem? There is no problem. It's a small matter. It's a very small matter. Are you not asking questions? So you're asking questions. I leave you. I leave you. So to yourself, so to you want me to ask questions. So am I the one asking questions? Yes. Keep quiet. Then what is the matter, officer? This lady here stole my hoofa. She stole my DVD. Eh? She stole my my flat screen. It's a lie. The whole of you. It's a lie. It's not a lie. Grace. Yes, am I the one who took those things? What makes you think yes, that you be quiet? One. It is not your turn. Uh, First, explain properly. So they stole your things. Yes. Uh -huh, now you? Mm -hmm. She's lying. I never stole anything. She didn't even have any of the above shares. So yes. you, are the, you are the thief. I'm not the thief. So, madam, if I may ask you a very simple question. Yes. 
What kind of padlock do you use to close your house? Officer, I have these usual padlocks of 2,500. Are you mad? <laughs> 2,500 <laughs> shillings. Stop yes. roughing. Stop roughing. 2,500 shillings? Yes. That is one dollar. Let me get yes. this clear. You use a padlock of one dollar as protection to protect your flat screen of 2.5 million shillings. Mm -hmm. And then you also protect your hoofer of 1.6 <laughs> million shillings. You see this stupid thing? <laughs> yes. eh? And then yes. you use that same 2,500 shillings. Are you mad? Do you have brains? You have, how do you use 2,500 to protect over 6 million? Talk Are you crazy? Office. Because now I'm, I'm wondering, huh? if someone puts something of value like that and they don't put protection, yes. why can't you see? <laughs> no. Because now who, who is to blame? Should we blame you, who is ah. extremely careless and uses a cheap padlock? Should we blame me, the officer who has nothing to do and I'm here wasting my time instead of having lunch and cheating? Officer, or should should we blame, uh, can you keep quiet? Or should we blame her? Who came and took exposed thing? So whose problem is it? Whose problem is it? So now it is your problem. You are very careless, extremely careless. That's why I'm saying this case is cross defective now. Can you please go? Uh, it was just a case of carelessness. Uh, officer, can you please go? You. She's still you, are violating, you are violating an officer right now. Can you please go? Can you go? Get out of here. Please take your dreadlocks out of here. Hey, hey, hey. You see? Me? We have managed. <laughs> officer, give me. So you, you stole the flat screen, the prayer and the hoofers. So do I get the deck or the hoofers? Ah, officer, uh, I, I didn't steal anything. She, she was like... Hey, madam, do not go very far. He, officer, don't go far, why are you calling her back? No, because you don't want... You see, they say, help me so that I help you. I am helping you and you're not helping me. If you give me the deck, I will know it's a win-win situation. So you either decide, did you steal or did not steal? Are you going to give me some or not? Officer, madam, you can ca 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 come back. Oh, officer, why are there you There has been a change of events. She's lying. Madam, come back. Ofi On second thought, I think you were really aggravated because, wait, wait, wait here, you are really aggravated because this is criminal, this is very criminal. My own get can be jumped into any time and they, 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 you become, because people like you, if you can be a thief with such a, 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 a figure, because now for us who look like this and don't have a role to present to the whole world, why do you think we shall be stealing? That means thieves are becoming very many, one of these days will jump my gate and enter and steal. No, yes. no, see, let me tell you something, something you don't understand. You help the officer, what? You help the officer to help you, but if you are not going to help, let's just go to office. Hey, officer. To the, no, no, let's, officer. Go the, oh, let's go to the prison. Officer, and this then is you a small case. Them. Officer, let me ask a simple question. Have you ever been at her house? Yes, officer. Uh huh. I've been there, I've visited there, we've taken tea together, I've watched TV. All there. right, so you've watched TV on the radio, on the hoofers, on the flat screen that you saw. Black and white, See, small. I'm TV. taking you to the officers, but you have to know that when you get to police, things are hard, you might just give me the deck and we end things here. Yeah. So, am I, am I getting the deck or not? You don't want to help yourself. <laughs> Mama, what did I do? What did you do? Whatever it is you did is not only in the past, it is in the past, it is in the present. And it is in the future, it is here looking at you, it's even talking to you. It has come home. Because there's no way you can give me this as a dowry when I gave you my daughter, my fertile daughter. My fertile daughter was given you two children. And this got you gave me two years down the road, what has it done? It doesn't even give me half a kid. Half a kid, I'm the laughing stock of the village. <laughs> It, it feels it has reached no, me. So tell you, it is mama. support. Mama, what? Mama, I'm not your mother. I am not your mother. Go find your mother. I am not your mother because if I was your mother, that would mean that you and my daughter are doing incest, and that is not correct at all. You have embarrassed me in the whole village. I am a laughing stock. <laughs> laughing stock, and it is remembering. Laughing stock. All the male goats. Who has seen a female goat with a, with a beard? Female goat with a beard. Female goat ma with a trouser beard. It, it does not. It has not even given me anything. All the male goats in the village be laughing. <laughs> and they are laughing at this goat because it cannot conceive. It cannot. <laughs> I am tired. Mm. I am tired. I am not going back with this, with this goat to be embarrassing. How can you steer us like that? It's like it's on family planning. 
It has been every male goat has tried to mate this goat here you are seeing, but it cannot give birth. So mm, I'm not going to allow you to call uh, me. Mama. If you are a con man, feel free to do it. Feel free to do it in your own free time. I'm not going to allow you to use that on <laughs> my head. I am leaving you with that code to give you just two weeks. Two weeks. I am giving it to you. I will come back. If it has not missed its period, I am leaving this place with my daughter and those two sons of yours. I am not going to allow to just be the last one. What? 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 Just look, 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 look at that goat. Mama, what? Mama, what? Take that goat. If it were you and you are the one, and someone <laughs> takes your daughter, some, it even feels sorry for me. Someone takes your daughter, and the daughter gives birth to children and I never got for two weeks without children. I'm coming back to pick my daughter. If that girl does not give me kids, but, uh, I'm uh, 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 Madam, yes, please. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, how are you? They sent me from downstairs. Okay. They said that I come here, that this is the human resource office. Yes, you're in the right place. I was shortlisted for the post of office messenger, mm. so I was told to come here. Okay, please, you feel comfortable. Let me work on someone, then I'll. Take, take, take your time, madam. Yes, okay. yes, yes, how are you? I'm fine, how are you, Jared? Yes, how are you, madam? I'm fine, how are you? Fine. <laughs> How far? Just going through. Are you serious? As instead of six. Eh. Now I've registered on the two. For the same price of six. So how can difference is four hundred thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is nice. Hey. Okay. Uh huh. So so yours is now uh uh have made four hundred thousand. Yes. Yours is two hundred? Thank you handle. very much, ah, Dad. Thank you so much. Me. You thank our stupid boss. Yeah? The one God gave us. My God, Dad, you've made my weekend. You don't know. Me, mine is sorted. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, I'll, I'll see you. Eh? Okay, please. Okay. See you thank tomorrow. You're welcome. Thank okay. you very Bye. much. <laughs> we are happy. Uh, so, what about me? What? Excuse me? Oh, please, you can roll your eyes all you want, but I'm not stupid. I know what has just transpired here. I know what just happened. You robbed your boss. Right now, whatever it is, you were supposed to buy for 600, then you registered 200, you got a different of, difference of 400, they've given you 200, which you have gone with 200, which means in this deal, I am the only person who now has a burden that has not been addressed. Because I have information that Actually, the information I have can complete a whole story if I was to tell you a stupid boss. I, right now, I can stand up right now and go and tell you a stupid boss. I, I no, I can't go. I feel like I want to go and tell my Please stupid, don't. The stupid oh, boss. And I, I tell him that you have money that you have cheated. But it does me. not concern you. What's your problem? If it did not concern me, you would have told me, Madam, excuse us. But you let me sit here, innocent. I am an innocent stand by, by stand or stand by, and you're giving me information that I've not asked for. Right now, I am under the burden. I am burdened with information, and I feel like getting up right now. And I go and tell that stupid boss of yours no, the things that you have done no, right please now. Please don't do that so, to me. Please. please be human. Be human and understand me. Right now, the information I have, I don't know how to deal with it. And from what I have, I can compose a fine story. Because I'm a very creative person. I can compose a story and I will go and sell it to someone at a higher offer. So be realistic. Give me my cut of the money and you take yours. It's not like you've worked for this money. So don't be greedy. Just give me my share, which is 400. Mine is 100,000. <laughs> Just give me my money. Please, just give me my money and we finish. Don't, don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like I'm forcing you. It's okay. I can go somewhere else where my services are appreciated and I give them No, 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 please. It's okay. Please. You have. You're making me feel guilty. Yeah. Making me feel as if, but, but maybe what? Don't you have like smaller notes? Give me smaller notes. It's okay. <laughs> this will work for now. So, I madam, this. like I was saying earlier, before we were rudely interrupted, my name is Kansi Mehan, and I applied for the job of 
office message. So why exactly do you pay rent if you decide to sit out half the time? You think I don't know what your target now is? Eh? You do, I don't know your target. You're waiting for me to come home with my husband and then you begin looking at him, salivating over him, just like that. Why don't you enter your house? Exactly, why are you seated outside? Have they, have they locked out of your house or it is open? Is it open? Why are you seated outside here? And when I'm talking to you, look at me. Look at what? You think in this condition I can't defend myself? Or you have a feeling I don't know what I'm talking about. I know what the two of you are up to, by the way. I know it very well. But very well. I haven't done anything. I'm just seated outside. Mm. Seated outside? Ah! Seated outside in a skirt that has a seat right here again. Eh? You're in a skirt that has a seat. You're in a red browsy. How many times do you wear that red browsy? With a hat on the chest. You think I'm stupid? I don't understand. So you think that my condition is blocking me. I don't have common sense because I'm pregnant. Mgenu, that's what you have decided. You wear a hat. We come and you know it is zooming in directly to my husband. You think I'm not looking at it? Why don't you just enter the house? Why are you stood there? I know, I know what is going on in your mind. My lovely husband comes home every day with a cavera of bread, cavera of butter, cavera of gin. We eat balanced diet. Your husband comes home with cassava every day. Oh, you think I don't know? And he sits and starts explaining to you. So now I, my husband, hoping you'll be wife number two. Mm, please, I can defend myself no matter what condition I'm in. I will defend myself come what may. I haven't started yet. You think I don't see? I don't see this, eh? You think I do not see it, eh? I don't... I am lucky you are not beautiful. I am lucky there's no ounce of beauty on your face. Because for you to be beautiful, you'd have to swallow like a case of makeup. Swallow lip gloss, to have a nice lips, swallow powder, swallow all those things. But I am lucky like that. I was born like this and there's nothing you're going to do about it. So can you please enter your house and stop eyeing my husband with those come to bed eyes as if you are, you, you are suffering from a disease I cannot even understand. Can you even enter your house before you look at your eyes, come to bed eyes as if you as if planning on snatching him away? She ha ha. Anyway, madam, how are you? How are you? What is this? So you're going to actually, you, you, you might as well sleep together when I'm not around. Just do it. Do, no, do make it official. Make it official. How is she? You might as well ask for her passport number. Ask her chairman's number, her, her chairman's name, husband's name, so that you know he's married. Make sure, make sure you know that this girl here has a blood group. Oh, go for AIDS checkup. Come back and consummate your, your cheating apparatus. No, no. Cheat, cheat already. Know whether you are safe. And she might as well be like me within a few months. Does that work? How are you? So that you do what? So what if she tells you she, doesn't, she has a problem? What will you do? Solve it. You will attempt to solve the problem she has because you're asking her. Are you asking her? Are you just... How are you? Hi! Do you know what hi does? All these relationships you see start with hi. So don't hi hi my, 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 my friend please. Actually, enter your house. Enter your house. I'm not going to turn and open my door and leave you here salivating at my husband as well. Enter, enter your house right now. Don't pull, don't, don't pull that mouth. Don't pull that mouth. Next time I'm going to pull your, I'm going to pull your tongue like this. I'll pull it. Pull it like plastic. Pull it like plastic. When it has reached here, I'll let it go and power. It will hit you in the face like this. Then you will run, you don't joke. Enter your house. Someone. Enter, enter your house. Enter your house right now. Enter your house inside. Shia. Just because I am pregnant, you think you can joke around with. And you, you mbu hi, hi. Why don't you greet the border border men when we are passing? Mbu hi, hi. Yes, madam. Mm. Yes, it's now okay. Very wonderful. Yeah. Eh? Yes. I see it is. You haven't heard that it was as if eh? So you like it, eh? Of course it's wonderful. You people have wonderful services. So even when after you've made someone who's you deliver it. Yeah, of course we have to make At our customers home customer you just give it to them. Yeah. I'm extremely happy really. How much is this? Uh, actually it's uh, $150. <laughs> you know when thieves want to steal you, they use things you don't understand. Yeah. You want to rob me, so you're using currency that is even not of here, that is a foreign, $150. So that I think that what? That is a lot of money. 
That is too much money. That's typical robbery. You tell me money that I don't understand so that you confuse me. What have you done for me to give you 150? My car. I, I gave you my car when it was full. You've brought it when it was full. Uh, what is it that you want to charge me for 150 Madame, dollars? Will... Don't charge me. Don't, don't steal me, by the way. I might appear to be small, okay. but I can uh, uh, extremely defend myself. I'm sorry, I can defend myself if, it, if, if, it, if need be. Don't uh, think you can take advantage of me. Uh, How? Why is it that it is one hundred and fifty thousand? Uh, madam, we have to change some spares, spare parts of the car. Yeah. Change? What do you mean? I don't get you. So we have to to buy new ones to replace those, those who only one. <laughs> so you took my car parts and put other car parts. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? They were old and worn. All old and worn out. Mm -hmm. uh, how long? Let me ask you. How long do you think I drove this car? What do you mean they were old? Old? How old? How old am I supposed to, to use the car before, the, before I use new pair, spare parts? How old were they? I want to know. It's like three years, eh? Mm. So I used a, a car part for three years and after that it was too old. Too old for me to ever use it again. How old are you, young man? How old are you? Madam, I'm 27. You are 27 years old. Mm -hmm. So in your 27 years of your life, you are total life. How many parts on your body have you replaced? Spare parts, like you cut off the hand and said, mm, this hand is now weak. You put another hand. How many parts have you used and you have replaced them? How many? Have you ever cut off your leg or any of your other spare parts and replaced them? The river gave it out and said, let me get a new river. Have you ever done anything like that? A car that I've driven for just three years and you are 27 years old, you're still the same. And those spare parts are metallic. Do you know that? Very metallic. Yes, yes madam. You know they are metallic. Yes. So you want to tell me that you, your body, eh, fresh with blood, is stronger than metal. But metal could not last after three years, it had to be removed. Why are you cheating me? 150! What else did you do to this car that uh, requires that much madam, money? Madam, we changed even the, the oil. You changed even the oil? Y yes, madam. So what? How much was that oil? Uh, 60,000. <laughs> 60,000 Ugandan shillings for oil. Yes. Do you know how much cooking oil I have in my kitchen? A lot. I buy in jerry cans. And a check can is actually 25,000 Ugandan shillings. And you're telling me you bought car oil at 60,000 Ugandan. Why are you cheating? Why didn't you tell me I could have put some oil in a small jerry can and given it to you to put it in the car? Instead, you went, became like Jarius. Because I wear a yellow dress and look flamboyant, you think I do not under, I cannot calculate, I don't have economics in my head. I cannot calculate and know that I can actually use my oil and use it for the same thing. So you want to cheat me. No. I look like I don't understand what's going no, no, on. As madam, far as cars are concerned. Madam, that money even includes uh, the labor. Oh, yo? Yes. So you also charged me for labor in that $150. How much is labor? Because you want to tell me, your how do you charge your labor? In a kilowatt, see, per step you take around the car, per energy, you, how, do you, how do you measure labor? Why would you want that much money? Are you a graduate? Do you graduate from any university? Do you know that I hold a master's degree? Do you know that? I hold a master's degree and I do not earn that kind of obscene money. You are talking about, took this car in the morning, you bring it back now, you want 100 and 50, You think I pick my money on the streets? Why are you a robber? Why are you a thief, young man? Actually, you will forgive me. Usually I'm a very calm and corrected person. Very calm and down to earth. So I'm going to forgive you a thievery and a robbery, your conning. I'm going to forgive you. Just give me the car keys. Otherwise, I could have called the dogs to chase you, scrum, called the police and told them that you actually, I would have screamed, told them that you actually wanted to rob me, but I would not. I am a kind person, so I'm going to give you a lift back to the garage, so that the money you wanted to steal from me, you steal it from other customers. So me, I'm going to forgive you, I'm going to be a good person and forgive you. Can I have the car keys? Or you want me to force it? Because I can actually, I might seem small, eh? but I can actually, I can do things. Oh, okay. I can do things that no other man can do. So if you think you're Madam, going to rob me, Madam, I can sorry, do I'm anything sorry. right now till you give I'm, I'm Can you give me the khakis? Can I have the khakis? Are they inside? No, so you go, go. Thank, thank me. Thank me for not being harsh.